Hi, I'm Steve from Draeger. I'll be showing you how to calibrate a Polytron 8700 IR detector. The equipment that you will need is a zero gas cylinder, a span gas cylinder, a calibration adapter, calibration tubing, and you need a, a flow regulator. It needs to be rated between 0.5 liters per minute and 2 liters per minute. Please also consult the manual before proceeding. Note that when the transmitter goes into calibration mode, it will transmit a signal below 4 milliamps. If it is connected to a Regard 7000 controller, the controller will recognize that the unit is in calibration mode and will not set off any alarms or faults. If the unit is connected to any other controller other than a Regard 7000, please be sure that it understands signals below 4 milliamps. So in this example, we're going to show how to calibrate for acetone but using propane. And we can do this because the Polytron 8700 has a library of gases already pre-configured in the unit. So when the unit comes standard, it comes standard with the methane curve already pre-selected. So we're gonna go through the menu and we're gonna uh, select acetone as our measurement gas. And the way that we do that is we press and hold the down arrow until the password comes up. We're gonna select OK and the default configuration password is 2. So we're pressing the OK button to get to the right hand most side. And then we're going to select 2 with the up arrow and select OK. And now we're going to go into settings, sensor, and we're going to choose the gas settings. So this is going to set the gas that we're trying to detect. And we're going to go through the, I'm just going to keep hitting the down arrow until I get to acetone. I just happen to know that it's number 453, I think, or 454. 453, so we're going to say acetone. And we're going to select our, use, our unit of measure as percent LEL. And according to NIOSH. And we're going to read up to 100% LEL. So this is now just giving us our summary of what we selected. We just want to make sure that's correct. So it's acetone, the unit's percent LEL. It's according to NIOSH, and our 20 milliamp range is 100% LEL. We're going to confirm, and we're done. So now if we go back to the measurement screen, we should now see that the gas name has changed to acetone from methane. So now we can go in and calibrate uh, for acetone, but using a propane uh, gas bottle. And the way that we do that is, again, we're going to go in and hit the down arrow. Select OK for password. Uh, you could select a password of one here. I'm just used to doing two, so that's what I'm going to select. This will give me full access to everything. We're going to do our calibration. So now remember that when we calibrate, we're going to calibrate a zero and a span. The zero can be calibrated either with a nitrogen gas bottle, a zero air bottle that has 20.9% by volume of oxygen, or fresh air. So in this case, we're going to use fresh air for simplicity, and then we're going to show you how to connect the span gas. If you do have zero gas available, um, you connect it the same exact way as you do the span gas. So we're going to go through and do the calibration, or select calibration, select zero. You always want to do zero first. It's telling us to apply zero gas. We're doing fresh air. Um, uh, obviously, there's no gas to attach. And you just want to make sure that there is no um, gas present that could affect the reading of the sensor, whether it's acetone or whether it's another cross-sensitive gas. So we're going to go ahead and say next. So here we're just going to uh, look to make sure that the value is stable. We don't necessarily need to be exactly at zero. We just want to make sure the value is stable. We have stabilized at 0% LEL. And I'm going to say calibrate. It is zero. We're OK. And it's telling us to remove gas. Obviously, again, because we're doing fresh air, there is no gas to remove. So we're going to say next. And it's out of alarm, alarm range because we are reading 0% LEL. And we're done with zero, calibra zero calibration. So now we move on to do span calibration. So for this instance, I have a bottle of uh, propane at 34% LEL. I have my regulator. That regulator should be anywhere from 
0.5 liters per minute to 2 liter per minute flow rate. This particular one is 0.5 liters. I have my calibration adapter for the Palatron 8700 as well as tubing. If you notice my tubing is pretty long here, this is just for this example. Ordinarily you want to keep this tubing as short as possible, uh, especially if the gas is somewhat reactive. So we're going to put our calibration adapter on, we're going to attach our tubing to our regulator, we're going to select span calibration. And for span calibration, this is where we tell it what type of gas we're using for the actual calibration. You can see by default it's selected as acetone, uh, but we can change it to whatever gas we're trying to use and if it's in the library of the detector. So we're going to go back here and we're going to select propane. And propane is one of the first gases listed, so I'm going to just keep touching the up arrow until I get to propane. There's propane. So now it's asking us um, what, what unit of measure we're going to do. So we're going to select percent LEL. And now we put in the concentration that it says on our bottle. So my bottle says it's 34% LEL. So I'm going to select that line. And I'm going to hit OK until it gets to the number that I need to change. We're going to change it to 34%. And now we're done. Hit Next. And now it's telling us to apply the propane gas. So I'm going to turn my regulator on. Select next. And now again we're going to watch for a value that has stabilized. So it should stabilize somewhere around 34% LEL, but depending on what the unit was calibrated with before, it may not stabilize at 34. So as long as the value is stabilized, that should be good enough. Okay, so we stabilized around 33% LEL. So I'm going to go ahead and select that value and calibrate it. It's telling us to remove the gas, so I'm going to turn off my gas supply and I will take off my calibration adapter and we're going to hit next and now we're, going to, we're simply going to wait until the value reaches near zero so we don't set off any alarms and that's pretty close there so I'm going to hit next and our span calibration is done simply Press, keep pressing up arrow until we get to our uppermost menu item and then select OK to get back to our measurement screen. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please contact our Technical Support Center and please also watch our other videos in the Polytron series.